The following is a video series reviewing the top 20 most common bird species found in St. Joseph in Elkhart County of Indiana. The data was gathered from eBird.org, a website used to record bird sightings and observations. The report covers the past 10 years, 2010 to 2020, of observations in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties. It represents the most commonly reported, not necessarily the most abundant. This methodology helps to standardize the data between birds that travel in large groups and those that are more solitary. Coming in at number 19 is the dark-eyed junco, or the junco hyamalis. The dark-eyed junco is part of the family Passerillidae, or New World Sparrow family. The dark-eyed junco is a sparrow-sized bird with dark gray to black feathers all over except for a creamy white section on the underside and outer tail feathers. Their bills are conical shaped and usually pale pink or tan in color. Their eyes are black and beady. They are about five to six inches in length, about half the size of a robin. And the sexes are very similar. However, the females are lighter gray, sometimes even brown in color. Here they are pictured. As you can see, their body shape is quite round and squatty. There are about 15 subspecies identified within the species of the dark-eyed junco. The only one commonly found here in Indiana is the slate-colored dark-eyed junco, or junco hyamalis. And frequently observed here in northern Indiana is the junco hyamalis cismontanus, which has a more defined color difference between the head and back where the head is black and the back is lighter gray or brown. Here is a map of the distribution of dark-eyed juncos. As you can see, dark-eyed juncos are only in Indiana during the non-breeding season, or winter. One would have to go to northern Michigan or even Canada to see them during the summertime. Some people say the cold winter is here to stay when they spot their first junco here in Indiana. They will usually arrive in November and stay until spring. During their winter stay, dark-eyed juncos will frequent a few different habitats. They are commonly found in forests, especially on forest edges and in riparian zones along streams and rivers. They are also found in grasslands and old farm fields. They are fairly tolerant to human activity though too, and for this reason you can find them often in suburban areas where trees and shrubs are present, like neighborhoods and parks. The dark-eyed junco spends most of their time either on the ground or near the ground in shrubs or perched on low-hanging tree branches. When on the ground, they hop short distances foraging for seeds. They typically flock together in small groups. When they fly, the outer tail feathers fan out, which can help with identifying them while in flight. In spring, before they leave, you might get to hear the trilling song of the male dark-eyed junco. The call is even, fast, and monotone, repeating the note several times. Let's take a listen. Their song can be confused with two other species that frequent our region during the spring, that is the chipping sparrow and the pine warbler. More often in our region, you will hear the dark-eyed junco's calls, which are high-pitched call notes, sometimes described as smacking. Here is an example. The dark-eyed junco is a herbivore, eating primarily seeds. In their breeding range, they will also eat small invertebrates, mostly insects, but this is not the case in Indiana during the winter. Here they eat seeds, seeds, and more seeds. 
If you have feeders with seeds, you can almost guarantee getting dark-eyed juncos to come and visit your feeders. Remember, you will only have them in the winter while they are here. If you would like to attract this bird, the best feeders for dark-eyed juncos are platform or hopper feeders. However, dark-eyed juncos are just as happy feeding on the ground too, so you could just spread seeds out on the ground. The dark-eyed junco's average clutch size is three to five eggs. They make a small cup-shaped nest made of twigs, leaves, and moss on the outside, and then lined with finer grasses, mammal hair, and more moss. The location of their nest is variable, but commonly low to the ground in shrubs. Remember, Indiana is not part of their breeding range, so you won't find their nests here. Of course, this is not a bird that is in major trouble here in Indiana, but let's take a look at its worldwide status. In 2016, the dark-eyed junco was considered least concerned by the IUCN Red List. This means that the species population does not qualify as threatened or endangered. And what about the dark-eyed junco's vulnerability to climate change? Remember, climate change is the term used to refer to the Earth's average increase in global temperatures in the past 50 years due to human activity. The temperatures rising just slightly, think only a few degrees, can have a massive impact on birds. In 2019, the National Audubon Society released their publication of Survival by Degrees, 389 Birds at Risk, which focused on bird species' risk of extinction due to climate change. The report found that for northern Indiana, the dark-eyed junco is considered to be stable in non-breeding season if global temperatures rise. There are a couple of species that are commonly confused with dark-eyed juncos in our region. Thankfully, one of them can almost be completely ruled out in Indiana because their migration is opposite from the dark-eyed juncos. Because of their behavior, shape, and size, the dark-eyed junco can be confused for house sparrows. They are about the same size and length and about the same shape. These two species are commonly seen on the ground near feeders. You can tell them apart by looking at their plumages. The house sparrow will have more mottled brown plumage. Also, you can look at their tails. The junco's tail is longer than the house sparrow's tail and it has the white coverts on the outside. The dark-eyed junco sort of looks like the eastern Phoebe. Their color pattern is similar, having dark plumage on the backside and light cream color on the underside. However, the eastern Phoebe only frequents our region during the summer months, and they winter in southeastern United States and Mexico. When in the field, keep the time of year in mind. If it is during the winter, you have a higher likelihood of seeing juncos and a very less likelihood of seeing Phoebes. Thank you for watching the video on number 19, the dark-eyed junco, commonly found in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties of Indiana. For more information on other common birds found in this region, please visit sbeautobahn.org. The sources for this video are listed in the video description.